Canva's editing software is quick and easy and one of our community members, Didi or Dugri, has asked that we create a video that showcases how to use the editing software on video on Canva. Let's create this fun eye-catching one where it seems like you're grabbing your own product from your phone using Canva. Join me. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to your videos and you're going to select the mobile video and you're going to create a blank canvas. Now you're going to upload your video that you've recorded of your product on your videos. And once it's uploaded and you're happy, you're going to go to your elements and you're going to look for a phone frame. So there are different kinds of frames. Don't select these ones that are going to snatch the video in. You want the graphics from frames that we can pick and use and we can manipulate to add our product. You're going to add your phone frame and you can change the background to suit the video that you've created. So I'm going to go with a little bit of gray, <laughs> 50 shades of gray. And then I'm going to go to my uploads and look for the video that I've recorded. And we click on it once and we add the video. So you're going to try to make your video as short as possible. Remember, you're using this for TikTok and Reels. You don't want it to be long. You want it to be catchy. So once you've added your video, the important thing is be aware of the side where you're grabbing your product because it needs to be touching the canvas. So in this particular instance, the hand for me is coming from the right. Therefore, for I will make sure that I link it to the right hand side of my canvas and it looks like that. Okay, so I'm going to click on the audio for this video and reduce it to a zero because I don't want it to disturb when we are creating, but we're going to add music together. So what I'm then going to do, I'm going to start adjusting the video to the phone frame itself. So I'm going to zoom in a bit and start my adjustment. I'm going to add it to the top of the phone like that and I'm going to scroll to the bottom and align it and prop it nicely to the bottom of the phone like that. And knowing that it's going to be coming in from the right hand side, I'm going to crop it to the phone up until the black line starts and stops. And I'm going to crop it to the other side as well like that. So your first section is done, but now you're going to send this video of yours to the back of your phone frame. So you're going to click on position and you're going to select backward and it's going to have those tiny little sticking thingies on top and you can easily get rid of those by using your elements and picking a shape and changing the shape to the color of your canvas and then sending it to backwards so that you can hide it like that. And you click on position and you send it to backward and then it hides it nicely like that. So you're gonna do exactly the same for all four corners. Next step is to go back to your uploads and add your video again. So this is where the fun begins. So you're going to click on your video and you're going to reduce the sound on this one as well. And you're going to remove the background of this video in order for it to work. You'll then click on edit video and select background remover on your video. And if you need to trial it for 30 days, use my link below to do that. And once the system has removed the background, this is the second video that's transparent. You're going to snatch it in place so that it is exactly where the other video is sitting. And you're going to place it at the corner of your video. So you're going to snatch it so that you see that purple line. Then you know that it is snatched in place like that. And you're going to adjust your video at the bottom of the page. This is your timeline on Canva. So this is where you adjust your video so that it plays and you tweak it and you edit it the way that you want. Don't worry about that little bit of a leg that it doesn't look like in sync when you're busy editing. Once you render the video, it's going to be in sync and it's going to be one. To add audio on your videos, you need to make sure that your timeline header is where you want it to be. Then you click and you add the music, then audio is added on your video. So when you play it, it plays like that. So if you don't like the audio way it's playing, you can click on the ellipses or the menu dots and you click on adjust. 
it'll open up the adjust in the menu for your audio you can then grab your audio and move it along to where you want it to play the other thing you could do with your audio is you could adjust your fade in and you adjust your fade out so that when it plays it just syncs in nicely with your video and the last thing is for you adjusting the volume size of your audio to share your masterpiece on social media you're going to download it by selecting download and downloading your mp4 video by the way we have a full canva course on learnwithza.com that teaches you beginning to end of canva i hope to see you there thank you so much for joining me today i will see you on the next video